Hello and welcome to another edition of Capra Comparison Picks. My name is Ranj and today I'm bringing you picks for the Belarus, Belarus Premier League match day 6 of 10. Uh, these games are for Friday, April 24th. Okay, um, as for match day 5 of 10, let's see, I'm not going to go over every game individually, but overall, not bad. I went 6 wins and 2 losses, so I would, I would, I'll take that every match day. Great. Okay, um, well, any of you, let's just get through with this. I'm sorry, I'm a little tired tonight, a little groggy. It's been kind of a long day. Okay, but anyway, you're here for the picks. Let's get to these picks. Winston, excuse me, thank you. Okay, we have um, number 15, Smolvici, uh, hosting Dynamo Minsk. They are number 12. Smolvici has a real crappy record of zero wins. Three draws, two losses. Like I said, they're number 15 out of 16 teams. Um, they didn't play last, or they were just promoted, so they don't have a record for last season in the Premier Division. You know, in the, yeah. Um, they are the big at home plus money underdog at plus 353. Okay, Dynamo Minsk. This year they're not they're kind of uh disappointing. They're ranked number 12 of 16. They have two wins, zero draws, three losses. They are the favorite at minus 111. Last season they finished number four, not bad, with 15 wins, five draws, and ten losses. The draw here is set at plus 224. Total is set at two over. At minus 101, the under minus 119. Okay, now let's take a look at Smolvici's last. Ooh, horrible marker. Smolvici's last match was a. Let's see here. With a draw at Belshina. And that was a one-to-one -one draw. Okay. Um, and oh, here, we go. here we go. This one's good all reliable. Dynamo Mint's last match. Oh, look at how dark and thick that black line is. Dynamo Mint's, their last match was a win versus... Neiman Grodno and they won 2-2-0 two, two, that's right Neiman Grodno let me down again those um okay the player to look out for now Smolvici as you can tell by the record they're they're horrible they're shit but uh they do have a guy that's got a goal his name is Evgeny Evgeny Barsakov so tomorrow, on the red team, look for number eight. That is Evgeny. That's our boy, Evgeny Barks Barsakov. He's got a goal. And they have zero national team players on their team, and they have six foreigners. Okay. Pretty much Smolvici's shit. Pretty much. Dynamo Minsk, on the other hand, they have the backing. Well, they're at, they're not. A, they are on the road, so if there's any of the blue, white, will, that's their fan fan base. They traveled with them, but they do. That old guy, uh, he's Dynamo Breast, but they got blue, white, will. Dynamo Breast is blue, white devils. They're all friends, right wing political. Okay. They're a player to watch, though. Another Evgeny. But this guy, Evgeny, is uh, Shikavka. Now, Shikavka has two goals, but he didn't make, for some reason, he's not on the top 15. 
He was number 16 of the lead leading scores. I don't know after goals. I don't know what determines. Maybe I don't. I really don't know. There's other. I don't know what determines if you make the top 15. But he was number 16 on top goals of the leading scores of the season. Okay. Um, the rest of the team they have six national team players and eight foreign. Mm -hmm. Okay, Eesh. last uh, three head-to-head -head matches. Now, these are all ancient. Ancient, but Dynamo Minsk did win all of them. Back in, Brandon, really. Um, back in August 2015, so long ago, Dynamo Minsk went to Smolvici and beat them five, beat them two to five. Okay, then again they went there in, uh, what was that, May of 2018, and they beat them 0 to 2. And most recently, on, most recently, as in still a, over a year ago, October of 2018, they beat them at home finally 2 to 0. Okay, so the last three head to heads, even though they're old, were all win by Dyn Dynamo Mints. And that's that's a given. They're gonna the spread here is only half a goal. If you you want to buy Smolvici half a goal, it drops it to 107, right? Yup. Minus 107 drops that plus three. Might as well just go with it. If you're gonna if you're a Smolvici fan. Just go with the ML on that. But I'm taking the winner. <laughs> I'm going to take... I mean, who knows? But I'm taking Dynamo Mints. They have, they're have they better. They're just better. Oh, any way you look at it. They have a better record. They have a better previous record. Their star player is better. Because remember, this guy Barkasov. Bark Barsukov. It's only got one goal. Evgeny, they got a better Evgeny. Dynamo's gonna win that. It it doesn't having them cover a half a goal spread doesn't it actually the odds get worse. It's minus one thirteen. Makes no sense. But anyway, take Dynamo Minsk on the money line, pay that little juice. Of course, dust. A little bit, sprinkle a little dust on that draw at plus 224 with this Belarus. You never know. And as for the uh, total, it's at two. We have a over, a push, a push, a push, a push. It's going to push. If it doesn't push, it's going to go over. So that's a coin flip. I'm not taking it at all. I'm just going to leave it be. Whatever. I'll sprinkle that half a unit onto that draw instead. Okay. Okay, moving on. Oh, that was at 11 o'clock. Okay, you can have that during lunch. We we'll have that game while you're eating lunch. Or if you have a later lunch, this one is at 1 o'clock. Time check. 1 o'clock, we have Neiman Grodno. My daughter loves saying Gro Neiman Grodno. <laughs> I love when she says it too. It's so terrible. But number 14, Neiman Grodno, who's let me down. What, two, three weeks in a row now? <laughs> Going against Energetic BDU, BGU, which is Belarus State University. And they are ranked number five. So we got number five. Going against number 14 of 16. Oh, no, Neiman, Grod, no. There are one win, two draws, two losses. On the season, last season, they went 10 wins, 6 draws, 14 losses, finished number 10. Not that good. But they are the plus money at home favorites. That's very interesting. Keep that in your noggin, okay? Energetic, even though they're number 5 on the season, they are playing very well. They, are, they have 3 wins, 0 draws two losses. I think they're coming off a loss. We'll, we'll get into that next. 
Um, last season, though, Energetic they did they weren't they were worse than Neiman. Eight wins, nine draws, thirteen losses. Finish number twelve. They are the underdog, plus two hundred. Not bad play. But let's take a look at their past games or the most recent. Most recent game for Neiman Grodno was a loss over here, right? Yeah. Loss at Dino Minsk. And that was two to zero that they lost. Uh, as for Energetique, I think they lost too, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they lost to my boys at Gorodea. Gordea, Gordea and um, Torpedo Valley Z Zodino are the teams that have made me personally in betting. They have made me more money than any other Belarus team. These guys, Gordea and Torpedo Valley Z Zodino, those two are in a head to head match to be my favorite team because both of them have been winning. And both of them have been making me think. They were plus money underdogs last two times. Well, actually, Torpedo it ended up being a draw, but I took them with the plus one, so it didn't make as much money. Gordea, I think they're, they've made me more money than Torpedo. If Torpedo won, they would have made me that money. But Gordea, anyway, we're not talking about them. We're talking about Energeti, Energeti BDU. Okay, Gord, anyway, Gordea beat these guys. Zero to one, making me some plus. That was like a plus 500 or something. Something ridiculous. Plus three, I don't know. I can't remember, but I can look it up if you want, but you don't care. Whatever. So, moving on. Players to watch. I've said this guy every time for Neiman Grodno. They have two guys that both start with G and their last name starts with, with a K. This guy, Gigum, is the Armenian. Yigum Katamayan. Um, the other guy, I think his name is uh, Gorg, Georgi. I don't know. I can't. It's but it's Yigum Katamayan. Shit. Is number seven. He's got two scores on the season. He's number seven. Keep an eye out for him. Okay. The other guy. Gonna bug me now. What team we on? Neiman Grodno. Bear with me. I gotta open my stupid rambling mouth. Um, I am so sorry. I just have to do this now. Now that I mentioned it. Oh, Cantaria, Georgi. I told you, Georgi. G or G, or I don't know if it's a soft G or a hard G, but I'm going to call, it, call him George Kent, Kentaria. Georgi, Georgi or Georgi. Georgi Kentaria, he's got the same birthday as me, except for he's uh, like 20 years younger. <laughs> okay, back to it. Um, Energetic, their player to watch for is the... Top of the leaderboard of leading scores, Yasser, yeah, Yasser, Jasser, or Yasser, Yasser. We're we'll calling it Yasser. Yakshiboev. I can say it now. It just rolls off my tongue because I keep saying it every week. Yakshiboev. Yakshiboev has three scores. It's not like he's knocking him out of the park, but he is the leader and the sole guy with three scores on the season. The only player with three scores on the season. I will double check that. But I'm pretty certain of it. Here's the list. Yes, sir. And then, um, yeah. Yep. By himself has three scores. Everybody up. Next, the next 16 have two. And then number 17 and on have one. Okay. Um, so I, it's, yeah, it's been kind of a low scoring season thus far. As for other talent on the team, Neiman has one national team player, eight foreign, and 
ditto that over with Energetique. One nat, eight foreign. So in that respect, they're even Steven. And they've only had, in their history of head to head, they've only played each other twice. Um, thankfully, they're both with last year, so at least they're not ancient. Okay, uh, back in Ju uh, July 6th, Neiman won on the road, two to four, okay? Energetique, oh, they haven't. The, the other one was a, on no the most recent was November 24th, and they had a tie, a one-to-one -one draw, okay? Now let's take a step back and listen. I mean, sorry, let's take a step back and look at this. Look at the info that I spit out or threw out on that board. Boy, oh, keep yourself in check. You got to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Over or under, is that two again? These, it's horrible. But anyway, a push, a push, a under, and an over. Because they only had two head to head, so there's only four on there. And uh, once again, Coin flip. I, I have no idea if it's going to go over or under two. Uh, that is no play for me. I'm not taking, I'm not making a play on the over under. But if you want to, over set at minus 114. The under is at minus 106. Two points. Ugh. The draw is at 208. Sprinkling a little dust onto that. And as for the side, ah, I would take Neiman because they're at home. Favored plus money. Plus money favorites at home. But I just, they've let me down too many times. You know, shame on me if I take them again. I got to take Energeti. And of course, I'm going to take them on the money line, that plus 200. That's scrumptious. Scrum diddly umptious. So, yeah, full unit on Energeti to blast out Neiman Grodno. Neiman Grodno. So there you have it. Let's. Recap! I have Dynamo Mints going over to Small Vici and beating them. They can beat them by one. They, I don't, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter because I'm not taking the over under. Dynamo Mints, money line. Then Energetique is going to go to Grodno and beat Neiman Grodno. Once again, money line. Who cares about the points? Who cares about the total? Sprinkle dust, sprinkle dust on the draws. So there you have it. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Gather the info. Place the bets, cash those tickets. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. You can you can hit that like. I like that. I like that people are hitting the like, the, the likes are picking up, the views are picking up, the scripts are picking up, and it's all thanks to you guys. I totally appreciate it. You know, it keeps me going. You know, I'm on that, you know, don't stay at home, save lives, shut down. So I, I don't, I mean, I do this because I enjoy it. I find it fun, but I really do it for you guys. So be sure to hit that thumbs up. I appreciate it. Hit the bell, because I, Belarus, you know, there's 16 teams, so there's going to be eight matches. These are only two. So we got six more coming. I, I'm not sure the exact schedule. I think we got, like, four of them coming Saturday, and then probably another two on, on Sunday. Okay, so either way, I got another, I'm, at, I'm doing two matches a show nowadays, because one of my uh, darling daughters up and about, she likes to draw on these bottom boards and I like to space it out. I mean, I don't like to be down here like this if I don't have to. So hit that bell, be sure to comment and good luck on your bets. And I will see you next episode.